In this video, we're going to learn about void functions in C. So void functions are functions which do not return a value. Sometimes these functions are called non-value returning functions. These are in contrast to value returning functions which do return a value. So with a value returning function, we specify the type of the return value. So for example here, we could specify the return type of this function as int, because this function is going to return an int value. We'll call the function itself add, and the function is going to be passed two int values as arguments, so we'll have the parameters int a and int b. Then we could define this function down here, and we'll have return a plus b. So this function will just simply add together a and b and return that new int value. We'll call the function up here, we'll have add, and we'll pass it 10 and 5. Then we'll store the return value, 15, into a variable called sum of type int. And we can output sum by calling printf and passing it the string sum colon and then percent %d to output an int value followed by backslash n for new line and we'll output sum. And if we save compile and run this program, we'll get here a sum of 15, which is correct. So when it's called, this value returning function returns an int value, which we store as sum. Now, not all functions need to return a value. Remember, one reason why we use functions at all is so that we can execute the same code again and again by calling a function in different places in our program, instead of repeating that same code that's in the function body all over our program. But not all code is about calculating or producing some value. Sometimes code does other things, like output values or information. We don't want to repeat this type of code all over our program either, so having a function which doesn't return a value can be useful. Let's declare a void function to output the values that are stored in an array. We'll have here void for the return type. This means this function does not return a value. We'll call the function itself printArray, and the function will be passed the array and the length of the array as arguments, so we'll have the parameters int array for the array and int length for the length of the array. Then we'll copy this and supply a definition of the function down here and we'll have a pretty standard for loop to go through each index in the array. We'll have here four with a counter variable i that is initialized to zero. Then we'll continue this loop so long as i is less than length and we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. So with each iteration of the loop, the counter variable i is going to go from the index zero to the index one to the index two, all the way to the index length minus one, the last index in the array, and each time we'll put the value in the array at the index i. So we'll call printf, and we'll pass it the string percent %d to output an int value, followed by a space to separate the values, and we'll put the value in the array at the index i. Then, once this loop is done, and we've output all the values in the array, we'll also put here a new line using printf, and the string backslash n. Now notice that this function does not have a return statement. Void functions don't need to have a return statement. What's going to happen is the function is going to stop execution once this last statement is executed. Let's try this function out. Up here, we'll declare an int array called numbers, and we'll put five numbers into this array. We'll have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we'll call the function. We'll call print array, and we'll pass it the numbers array and five for the length of the array. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here the array numbers as output five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And notice how the function call is the entire statement. It's not like we're taking a return value and assigning it to a variable. In fact, if we try that, we'll get an error. If we tried here, int return value is equal to the return value of print array, this won't work. If we save this, compile it, and run it, we'll get an error here. It says, initializing int with an expression of incompatible type void. So we just can't do this. Now, we actually can use return statements inside of a void function. Let me show you what I mean. What we could do, for example, is check to make sure that length is not less than or equal to zero. So we could have a check here. We could say if length is less than or equal to zero, that this doesn't make sense because we can't have arrays with a negative length or a zero length. And in that case, we're going to use return with no actual value returned, just return and then semicolon. What this will do is stop the execution of the function early. It's going to stop the execution of the function here in the case that length is less than or equal to zero. So here, if we pass in negative five for the length, say, 
and now we save compile and run the program, we don't get any output now because the function execution stopped at the return statement. Even though void functions don't return a value, there are some interesting ways we can legally use them in some expressions in C. Because these techniques aren't widely used, as they're either not useful or not considered to be good style, I'll make a separate video covering this topic for fun, and I'll post that video in the video description. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.